I suppose if you're watching this video, you're a fellow parent who is trying to convert your baby swing, so you're not going through as many C batteries as you used to. Um, in my case, my, our baby swing lost its spring right here. Um, so what I did for a while was use an aluminum foil to bridge the gap and allow my C battery to still get in there. But uh, because I'd already converted another swing to USB power, I decided to do the same to this one. So let's get into the basic information that you'll need to know. First off, um, if you go back and forth on these two images, you'll see that the uh, there's a metal strip that is adjacent to the negative terminal of this battery and it comes down and it becomes a component of the negative terminal of that battery. Now that in turn allows all of these batteries to effectively be in a line um, in this uh, compartment. Now as you uh, probably know from your high school physics classes when you put batteries in a line this is called series and the important part about putting batteries in series versus parallel that we need to recognize is that when you put the batteries in series you are going to have double the voltage but the same capacity whereas if we did parallel it would be uh, the same voltage and double the capacity now in our case that means we're putting batteries that are 1.5 volts um, in series and getting essentially six volts if you look at my voltimeter um, I'm actually measuring 6.38 because, because these are relatively new batteries and they each have about 1.6 volts at this time. Now, so around the house we have USB chargers. Um, they output around 5 volts each and around 2, two amps, um, 2 amp hours, which is very similar to a C battery. Now we'll be running a little bit under voltage, but for the purpose of the two um, baby swings that I've done this to, um, it hasn't really made much of a difference. Um, USB cables by uh, convention typically have a red, a black, and then varying color um, other data wires. The ones that we really care about for this are going to be our red, which is traditionally our uh, positive voltage, and our black. This says ground, but this is the negative wire, um, at least in the uh, USB cables that I have used for this purpose. Feel free to use your own voltimeter to double check things as you go ahead and through this process. So where are you going to put the wires? Um, to pay attention to how your batteries go in. The fact that this is a negative terminal adjacent to this spring means that this is going to be where I can put my negative wire. And then as you followed your series down, you eventually end with a positive on this side, so that's where your positive wire needs to go. So in the end, this is what mine looked like. I had my negative wire attached to the spring. I could have attached it up higher, but for ease of uh, placement, I just went ahead and did it there. I soldered my negative here. You could use alligator clips and just slip them behind so that you don't have to solder anything. I do tie a knot um, in my wire uh, for the purpose of I drill a hole through that battery cover and that knot's going to make it so that my other little ones are not going to pull the, uh, the soldered connections out. And then just plug it in. Plug it in and you get it to work. As you see right there. Hopefully that's helpful, and uh, always be very cautious with any modifications and understand that you're accepting any of the risks that go with it. Thanks for watching.